What's up fam? Need some new ideas for streetwear this coming spring? Don't worry, I got your back, bro. Let's get it. What's up fam? So this is Kickspot where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle travel and a little bit of everything in between. And today I'm going to be talking about clothing that you can actually wear with your sneakers. So the good people once again from Rarified have decided to bless me with another haul from their Rarified drop. It's from their latest collection of Dreams to Fly, which is a really dope name. And I really respect the clothing that comes from Rarified clothing because no joke, I, I still wear this stuff. This is what they gave me a long time ago and I only really break it out for really special occasions because I do get that often like you know ooh, like you know that stare back every time I wear this uh, jumper because this one I'm, I'm telling you I'm not not even kidding some of the details that go into this um, jumper it's so nice like the inside it's like cashmere or velvet it's such a nice like touch not a lot of brands care about the inside of the clothing of like what you're touching they only really care about what's on the outside on what other people can see and what you can see from the outside but the guys from rarified doing their thing making things nice on the inside too so it's just like it's an overall nice feeling it feels nice on the inside when it touches your skin and it, yeah, it's a, it's a good look from the outside too. So that's why I really like Rarified Clothing. So let's just jump straight into this haul, shall we? So Sid and the boys from Rarified Clothing decided to you know give me a couple of pieces. And when I saw these pieces, I thought they were really cool because I, I did want to try something different, something I don't normally try to like wear normally on my like kind of normal rotation of clothing and all that kind of stuff. So one of the first pieces you've probably seen on my Instagram is this piece right here. This is the corduroy hat or cap i'm telling you guys this is uh at first i was just like man this is gonna look weird and everything but then i actually saw a picture of kanye wearing a corduroy hat uh which is like oh maybe it's all right then <laughs> like i don't know maybe just because kanye west was wearing it I, I thought to myself oh like oh that might look cool on me too you know <laughs> other than that guys i'm telling you the quality in hand is actually quite amazing and uh they've already kind of bent you know they've already formed the the brim for you already as you can see there nicely formed because sometimes with the flat normal like kind of stock caps that you get you have to bend them yourself with this one rarified already you know have done the hard work for you and it's really it's like, it's like a tough you know brim too it's good quality and the corduroy is actually really nice uh, i really really do dig this kind of texture this kind of materials and stuff and uh it's even got the rarified as you can see in there uh details on the inside Really, really cool. Nice look. You know, I generally normally go for the A-frames. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, the A-frames are the ones I usually go for, like these ones here from uh, Mitchell and Ness, because they've got like a little bit of a higher, you know, kind of structure. But, you know, it's not far. This uh, rarefied cap, corduroy hat. Really nice touch. Feels great on your head, you know, and it's easy to adjust. Like actually, I got a bit like I had a little bit of trouble um, adjusting the the strap at the beginning, but once you get used to it, it's actually quite easy. I didn't, I just didn't know that there was a like there's a hidden kind of compartment like behind the actual. I think it was a trim here, and like I didn't know how you like how do you like you can make it longer, you can make it bigger, but how do you make it? Like shorter and stuff and it's just all you got to do is just basically hot like hold it and then you can uh, make it smaller you can retract it like that and it gets smaller just like that so it's a dope looking hat you know especially for the upcoming spring i do really like it I, there are different kind of um colors available out as well one with the rare branding on the on the front uh panel but i like this one plain and simple all the, your different outfits that are coming up you know especially if you have a really bad hair day this is a really good pickup so next i wanted to talk about what's this summer shirt oh man when i'm telling you this is flowy bro soft uh i know it's like kind of really cold right now but when I, ha when I have this on, when I'm inside and stuff, oh man, it's like a really nice chill top to wear, you know, with the, because it's kind of 
oversized and so all the like kind of just the the airflow just go through your body so you, it always keeps you cool especially when you know like, when you got the heater on full blast at home during winter uh i think this is uh i think this would be a really good piece though in the upcoming spring when you don't know when it's hot you don't know when it's cold so it's a really good layering piece as well so you can wear it underneath put a jacket on and you could always wear it like a really nice necklace with this because it's got a cuban collar fabric is really soft to the touch man i can't like express how much I want to wear this more uh, because it's kind of cold right now in Melbourne and uh, yeah because it's winter but when by the time spring comes bro this be on the third piece I want to talk about is this uh white sweatshirt that they gave me it's actually called the eagle sweatshirt do you know why oh because it's got an eagle on the back right there really dope design I think it's tough plain and simple from the front but on the back you got that really cool design so it's pretty awesome i do like the colors as well very neutral colors especially at the front it's got a cross ribbed neckline as you can see there right there in that area there it's cross ribbed really nice to the touch it's really stretchy as well oh and the cuffs you know the cuffs are really elastic just as the bottoms are is uh elastic as well so you know, it, it's, it, it conforms to the, you know, the, the shape of your body as well, which is what I really like. It's a, it's a really nice chill piece to easily take on and off whenever, like, it gets too hot or gets too cold. And it's just really, it looks really, really classy. I am really, really big fan of this actual sweatshirt. And the last piece I wanted to talk about is my absolutely favorite from their latest drop. It is the checkered jacket. Man, I'm telling you, the vibes on this jacket is so to totally awesome. Um, it's got like a houndstooth design. I'm not sure if you can really see there. It's sort of like the you know, David Jones jackets. I don't know, every time I think about houndstooth, I think about David Jones. Uh, basically, it's really thick, all right? When I talk about thick, it's got a really heavy coated, like, cotton fabric to it. Like, when I first touched it, I thought it was just a normal thing. But when you put it on, it's like, yeah, it's like you can feel the, the weight to it. And that's what I really like it. It feels high quality and uh, it definitely keeps you warm. Yeah. So when like right now in the winter, it's perfect. The, the, sh you know, the actual sizing is really nice too. It's not too long, man. I'm telling you, this is such a vibe, man. Like it's really plain and simple. If you think about it in the end, even though it has like this kind of graphic, uh, it's, it's such a really nice olive or brown uh, kind of colorway. It really, really matches the spring kind of vibe. It's got the, um, the ribbed or the uh, cuffed collars or the yeah the cuffs once again especially at the bottom as well I'm telling you this is such a nice vibe I'm telling you guys if you haven't already checked out their website with all the other great stuff that they have you're missing out so once again a really huge shout out to Sid and the boys from Rarified Clothing they hit another home run with this one I do really really support them because their clothing generally it is really such high quality and uh, i'm not even joking I, I might say that about a lot of brands but in terms of these ones i, I really am like a great fan of the actual stuff so that, that's why whenever they say like oh bro man you want to do a video for us I'm like bro let's do it man because i know they always have really good clothing uh, that i still wear to this day look i'm telling you so rarefied clothing i don't know if you've seen it from like some of my um you know my recent videos as well dope stuff so please go check them out but uh before we go i just want to go give a huge shout out to my boy mark uh because yeah we went out for his birthday and let's go have a look yo what is up guys so we are here at the red hill chase red hill cheese factory place we're out in Mornington peninsula here with the gang there's aj the rest of the crew, we're walking there now. Oh, we had Carlos Jr. on the way to get some nice cheese in us. Oh, by the way, we're here to celebrate Mark's birthday. Okay, hey guys, so um, <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so we are out here at um, Red Hill, Red Cheese. Red Cheese? Red Cheese. Well, we're out in Red Hill. Oh yeah, there's an actual vlogger. <laughs> so, thanks AJ. Uh, so we're at the Mock Red Hill Cider Lounge at Farmgate. I hear they have some like non-alcoholic stuff, so like really nice, like fruit beverages here. So let's go have a look. 
Yo, so we got one of these non-alcoholic ciders. Heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm just like thinking, hmm, I think you should go give it a go. But I got some for my wife, because I feel bad that she's not here. She's working. <laughs> we're probably gonna go head off to the other place now. So we're gonna go get some bread gum barbecue, and then, yeah, it's time for some lunch, man. I'm, I'm ready to like get some, get some meat in me. <laughs> Oh, so we are now at this um, a maze and lavender garden place. We're kind of worried about doing the maze because we have a booking for this the red gum restaurant place and we don't want to be late for it but it's beautiful here. Oh look. Okay so we were deciding whether we wanted it to go inside because to actually look at the gardens you have to pay for it so you might as well if you go you might as well do the, the maze and the to look at the gardens kind of thing so we were all like oh it's gonna be worth it and stuff but well we're here anyway so <laughs> let's go this is the map it'll be easy just took some content shout out to my man AJ down there for uh shooting let's go to the lavender garden and see how pretty it is pretty pretty oh cute <laughs> yeah it's cool have you seen it drone my bone chin <laughs> what is up guys so we out here at the red gum barbecue place and the actual place is freaking delicious looking man have a look so i got the chicken the mac and cheese got the bread cornbread, cornbread and some mustard Actually, that sausage is actually pretty good. Yeah. So. Is that me? Yo, so we just finished up at Red Gum Restaurant. It was actually voted 2020 best um, best restaurant in Mornington Peninsula. Now I got a admit yeah it was pretty good it was fantastic <laughs> brisket chicken the chicken sold out and we kind of everyone wanted it but that's how good it was anyway definitely recommend it and uh yeah we all had a really good time here thanks for watching this vlog uh yeah i hope you got something out of it and yeah if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you guys next time peace